Okay, so, so here's the second half of the broadcast, and I uh, forgot to add this, but really just want to get this in. Um, so when you're sending your messages, uh, it depends on when you're sending it. Um, when you first do this, it doesn't say immediately, but you don't want to do it immediately. You want to edit this part right here. Uh, and you'll see this is going to be for Friday at 7 a.m. Uh, usually between 7 and 10 is a good time. Afternoon, people are kind of busy. Uh, uh, Mondays are really a good time to create your content, uh, blog posts or videos or wh whatever. Friday, you got to kind of hit them up in the morning. Uh, Mondays, you can probably do in the evening time between <clears throat> between uh, 5 and 7. It's a good time to post. Uh, but after you do that here, let me move my face out of here. Um, after you do that, you just come over here, choose your time, set it up, and choose a day, and then you just hit apply. If it's going to be a.m. or p.m., I don't know. I don't know where, where you're at. Then after that, you hit apply. Then you schedule message, and you are absolutely done. And after you do that, uh, you can actually set all these up matter of a month and just create all the content and then you just send it along <clears throat> send it along his way <coughs> but uh, but but as I said I was going to uh, show you <clears throat> the messages inside the sequence to, to, to show you other things that you can do and you can't do um, so when, when you actually set up a sequence uh, a campaign you just call them sequences it's pretty much what it is um, so when you when you send these out, you don't want to constantly pitch people about your product, your service. I, uh, you you want to send them into a nurture mode. You want to send them in a way that it's going to it's going to help them eventually give them the objective of your course, because that should really be the goal. Um, so if if you're not in email marketing to generate some sort of sales, if if you're just growing your list to grow your list, well that's great, but if you're like a business owner that is going to directly just go into email marketing and sales, then it's just a very easy way to build a business. And and everything I've done, this is probably the easiest way, easiest way to build value with people. You are going to get people that are going to be freebie chasers. That's just the name of the game. You don't get people that don't unsubscribe to you. That, that's just the way it is. There's some people that are subscribed. Then unsubscribe it's just as soon as they get your message, get your free offer, and they take off. I mean, that's just the way it is. Um, other than that, so I'm gonna go into the sequences here on the next video. Um, so as I said, I'm gonna set all that up and show you what I did, and then really go into some of the messages and like why I have some short messages and some long messages. <laughs> And things of that nature. Other than that, I'll, I'll see you later, and I'll see you in the next video of this series. This is this is gonna be part four. I mean, this is, this is part three. Next one will be part four. Anyways, subscribe, like, comment, and tell me your thoughts.